Bonjour tout le monde, hi everyone, welcome back on my channel, it's me Max and if you are new here, I'm a Eurovision reactor and today I'm kinda really happy to do this video because I'm gonna give you my updated top for this Eurovision 2023 which takes place in Liverpool in the United Kingdom, coasting with Ukraine. So I already made my ultimate top 37 of Eurovision 2023 at the end of March, but I told you that I will make another top uh, a top 20 here where I'm gonna give you my updated ranking because some songs are evolved in my top a lot or not just a lot and most important I have a new winner guys and it was really close but I can't wait to reveal my new winner for you uh, it's not gonna be a surprise for some of you but uh, I mean I can't wait to, to give you my top 20. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my social networks to follow me and support me, TikTok, Twitter and Instagram. Be sure to see my videos, my parody videos about Eurovision 2023 songs. New ones are coming really soon, I promise. I uh, already filmed some of them. I just need time to edit them, but yeah, it's asking a lot of time to do it. <laughs> so it's coming, I promise. And now stop talking and let's go for this top 20. Okay, let's go. So just before my top 20, I just want to make some honorable mention to two countries. First matter, we just win one place, but uh, it's my guilty pleasure this year, this song. I want them more higher, but there is so many songs that I really enjoy this year. That's it, so it's gonna be complicated. You're gonna see. And next one, Slovenia. I know a lot of you uh, put Slovenia in your top 10. For me, it was a bit uh, late that I got more attracted by the song, but now it's coming more and more. Uh, maybe they're gonna have to enter my top 20 for sure and maybe be close to my top 10, I don't know at the moment, but it's growing on me for sure. So let's go for the top 20 official. So we begin with Serbia. Uh, Serbia lose a little bit of place, but they're still in my top 20. I just need less messy staging sometimes. During the pre parties, I was a bit confused and lost, and I didn't get the same vibe at the first time I listened to it. But it's still a song I'm listening, of course. Next we have Iceland, which also lose three place in my ranking. Um, nothing, it's just that there is other song that I enjoying much more for the moment, but Iceland is still in my top 20, this is already great. Ba -ba -ba power. Next, oh, this is the disappointment for me, the Netherlands. What happened? I see some live performance and I'm really worried about the alchemy between the two singers with Mia and most of all Dion Vogos but they're gonna progress, they're gonna work on it but yeah, they lose 5th place in my ranking. And Tuto, Tuto, Lithuania! I'm sorry she lost some place, but nothing against the song. I still loving to sing this Tuto, Tuto thing. So yeah, it's just that there is other song I'm missing more, more and more. That she lose some place, but Lithuania still in my heart. <laughs> Georgia, it's growing, it's growing on me. This one, I'm not gonna say that she's gonna enter my top ten, but I can't wait, I can't wait because her live vocals are amazing. She's a killer, she's a performer. I can't wait to see what she's gonna bring for the Eurovision stage. Looking at it. Next, we have Estonia. Um, Estonia, she was in my top 10. Um, she lost 5th place. Um, it's just that I listening to this song since December, so <laughs> it's been a long time. It's like a lot of ballads right now. I'm losing a bit of happy with them. I'm more into pop banger right now. Like this one, Moldova. He wins five place. Nenice Luna. Swalechi Luna. It's worrying. Again, Moldova, I'm, I'm getting the vibe about it. I like what he's doing with the ESC pre parties also. So, yeah, Moldova. Why not in my top 10? We'll see. Next one, Sweet Zerland. Remo Fer Ferrer. What will be gone? It's growing in my top, and I think it's not the end. I think it is gonna enter my top 10, to be honest, because I don't know, I, I really like this ballad. I really like it. Ah, Cyprus, Cyprus. So, this one, I wanted to put it in my top 10, but I'm still not sure about live 
performance and vocals, so I'm waiting a live performance. <laughs> Can't you can break a broken hand? But nothing against the song, I'm still listening it a lot. But yep, yeah, I'm waiting a live performance. Next, Italy. Yep, Italy is out of my top 10. If you know me, you know how much I love Italian music. I don't think Italy is gonna be more low in my rank. Um, it's just that right now, as I told you, I'm not really into the ballad for the moment, but yeah. Spain, Spanish fans are gonna be happy because some of you were like, what? Spain is only 15 in your last top. Uh, now she's in my top 10 because the song is going on me. Maybe the ESC properties help me to feel more the song, the happy, the, the thing that is happening. Again, I'm not listening it a lot, but I love Blanca Palomar, which is really great, more than great. Next, we have Zekia. I think you understand why I put uh, them a bit more lower than... She they were in my top 5. But, yep, live performances are a bit disappointing for me compared to the music video and the studio version, so I'm waiting more for them. Cha cha! So Finland is growing, of course. Um, yep. Something is happening with this one. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to see Finland win with this one because it could be so cool to see everyone singing cha 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 all over Europe and the world. Why not? Next we have Israel. Noah Kira, she's growing in my top also. You, me, come. I just love the dance, I love the song, it's growing more and more and. I think she's gonna kill it with the staging, so I would not be surprised if she entered my top 5. Austria! So, they are the gods in my body also. And... They are growing. I don't know what is happening with this song, because at first I was like... It's really good, huh? of course, but I was expecting a bit more. But now, I just addicted to this po 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 thing and the song. I love it. I am listening it a lot today. Her name is she's queen of my top 5. Yes, no way, Alessandra is growing. It's surprising, because I thought I would be a bit bored by the song, but no, it's no. And when I compare to other people which are listening it in my family, they love it absolutely. So I think she's gonna be really high. Then I wrote a song. So the United Kingdom is still my fourth place. This doesn't change. I think my Miller is challenging her a lot, come on, she's dancing so much in, during the ESC pre parties too. Uh, yeah, of course, are still gonna, uh, she needs to work on it, but she was sick also, so come on, this is really difficult what she's doing with all the movements. Next we have Armenia, which is still my third place. Um, I still don't know the Armenian part, but um, nothing to say, she's amazing, the live vocals, one of the best this year, one of the best. So you understand who's my winner, but Sweden is my second place, so yep. She was my first place before, but it's really close, come on. I will be so happy if Sweden win or if my winner is gonna win or not. But nothing, Queen Lauren is doing the job, she was amazing during the ESC pre parties. And my winner, my winner, this is Lazara from France. Well, it's my country, so maybe it's helped me to, to think she's gonna win. But yep, I really think she has the charisma to win the world thing, you know, and I love it. And now that she has done some live performance, I believe in the fact that we could win Eurovision. Maybe I'm too French, I don't know. <laughs> so here's the truth, France is my winner. So yeah, maybe it's because I'm French, because I really believe that our country, my country could win the whole thing, I don't know, but yeah, France takes the leads for the moment, but again, it's really close between Sweden and France, it was really hard to choose because Lorraine is like the ultimate Eurasian artist that I love since many times, and to see her being back with such a banger song like Tattoo, it's difficult for me to put in the second place, but it's still a good place, I mean, come on. And, and Lazara, because I really want you to believe that France is gonna win, finally, uh, the Eurasian Song Contest after many years. So, I don't know, we will see. It's gonna depend, of course, about the staging they're gonna create for Eurovision, which is gonna help me to decide which one is gonna win between Sweden and France. But for the moment, it's France. Be a bit patriotic. <laughs> 
So what do you think of my top 20? You can tell me what you want in the comment section. Just be respectful again to the artists, to myself and to each other in the comment section. Uh, share your top 20 or your top 37 again, update the top 10, what you want. I would love to read and answer to everyone in the comment section. I will see you really soon for a new reaction video, um, maybe about my trip to Sweden, we will see. Uh, thanks for watching again, bye bye, au revoir, see you soon, à bientôt!